it's, it's been about 14 years, 15 years since we started to get on track. But even though we were, get, we were on track that far back, we still weren't healed. Yeah, there was still from, brokenness. From our past brokenness yeah. that we caused in our, in our marriage. You know, so that took time yeah. to really recognize and address because we were notorious for running or burying it under the rug. Mm. There was a, um, a big infidelity in New York um, mm -hmm. that took me 10 years to heal from. 10 years. 10 years. And we were going through the motions because yeah. with that infidelity, whew, you don't want to wish it on your worst enemy. We had to experience murder through that. I, I, I was held at gunpoint with my own gun and watched the mistresses I was living with at that time killed in front of me, which she had to bear that burden too. Yeah. We, we lost our home to our, arson. Our home was burned that. down. Then um, an innocent person was killed rushing to the fire of our house burning down because of our mess. It was hard to get through. And we had, we had some counseling and we thought that we were okay when we left New York. Yeah. We thought we were okay because the counseling was intense. Mm -hmm. And then we moved out here and, you know. Swept it under the rug. He swept it under the rug. And I'm like, man, I'm like, why couldn't we have this 15 years ago? You know, but I guess it's all in God's timing because if we didn't have it, we, we wouldn't have had the testimony to go through mm -hmm. to give people hope that you, you, you can, you know. We were we were assigned to write yeah. um, well we were assigned to write these le these letters of forgiveness during this program that Hassani okay. had. Okay, give me the tissue. And <laughs> and uh, don't don't make me cry now. And he gave us hours to write these letters, and then we came back and then we had to read them. And Todd read his first, and I mean within two minutes we were all like boo hooing in there. I mean there was. Tears and wet carpet everywhere, and <laughs> wet, carpet. Yeah, wet carpet, and he just he just spoke from his heart, and I really felt the realness that I needed, you know. And then when it was my turn, um, you know, I did the same thing. But the one thing that was said in there that was, I guess, explosive for Todd was that I owned up to my infidelity, and I said, I am truly, truly sorry for doing what I did, and I accept my own truth, I accept who I am, I accept what I did. Mm -hmm. And he bawled. He said, I've been waiting five, four or five years for you to admit, not because of what you, I did, but because of what you did. And I didn't even realize that uh, yeah, I was crying like a baby. Like, it impacted him like that, you know. I didn't realize how necessary that was for me, excuse me, for me to um, accept my faults. Mm -hmm. And it actually made me feel good because I finally felt, you know, like uh, I, I felt like I was mm -hmm. opening up to my truth. Mm -hmm.